A multipolar world needs strong and effective multilateral institutions. Yet, global governance is stuck in time. Look no further than the United Nations Security Council and the Bretton Woods system. They reflect the political and economic realities of 1945, when many countries in this assembly hall were still under colonial domination. The world has changed. Our institutions have not. We cannot effectively address problems as they are if institutions do not reflect the world as it is. Instead of solving problems, they risk becoming part of the problem. And indeed, divides are deepening. Divides among economic and military powers. Divides between North and South, East and West. We are inching ever closer to a great fracture in economic and financial systems and trade relations, one that threatens a single open internet with diverging strategies on technology and artificial intelligence and potentially clashing security frameworks. It is high time to renew multilateral institutions based on 21st century economic and political realities rooted in equity, solidarity and universality and anchored in the principles of the United Nations Charter and international law. That means reforming the Security Council in line with the world of today. It means redesigning the international financial architecture so that it becomes truly universal and serves as a global safety net for developing countries in trouble. I have no illusions. Reforms are a question of power. And I know there are many competing interests and agendas, but the alternative to reform is not the status quo. The alternative to reform is further fragmentation. It is reform or rupture. At the same time, divides are also widening within countries. Democracy is under threat. Authoritarianism is on the march. Inequalities are growing and hate speech is on the rise. In the face of all these challenges and more, compromise has become a dirty word. Our world needs statesmanship, not gamesmanship and gridlock. As I told in the G20, it is time for a global compromise. Politics is compromise. Diplomacy is compromise. Effective leadership is compromise. Leaders have a social responsibility to achieve compromise in building a common future of peace and prosperity for our common good. Excellencies, over the past year we have shown the promise of multilateral action. With important new agreements on safeguarding biodiversity, on protecting the high seas, on climate loss and damage, on the right to a clean, healthy and sustainable environment. We have all the tools and resources to solve our shared challenges. What we need is determination. And determination is in the DNA of our United Nations summoning us with the first words of the Charter. We, the peoples of the United Nations, determined. Determined to end the scourge of war. Determined to reaffirm faith in human rights. Determined to uphold justice and respect international law and determined to promote social progress and better lives for all people. It falls to us, through our actions, to apply that determination to the challenges of today, being faithful to the Charter of the United Nations.